Well, that's actually Morton, but you know, uh, I think you know what I mean. Clipboards is probably cheering for them. Oh, absolutely. Yep. I want to hear the clipboards like signature scream right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're actually going to see the Raw versus the Morton on Town City for the first match of Top 32, everyone. Winner side. Happy to be here. Happy to commentate it. And, you know, Bowser Jr. has been a character that everyone has kind of said is low, toward, like since the beginning of the game, one of the worst characters out there. And I disagree. I think they actually are super underrated. Um, we even had like catch up, just upset light at yeah. the summit. Yeah, at the MSM, yeah. Yeah, at that MSM. Like, I don't know. I, just, I think they have some pretty good tools that they can definitely do. Although, yeah. Dill proving me wrong right now. 108% uh, on Bran. Um, and just doing a really good job of keeping him out, uh, Bran out. Although, keeping it pretty, pretty even right now. 70 to 113, bringing it back. Gonna go for the bear, and Ooh, that is oh, beautiful excellent tech. tech. I thought it was, I thought that I was thought attackable that, for a second. Oh, I did too. I thought she, uh, she was dead for sure, but no. Up Wait, air how did that happen? This. I missed it. It was an up air. Uh, Interesting. Up air. Okay. No one knows how to DI it, so. <laughs> All right. Bran is going to be able to get back to stage. Still just kind of backing it up, you know. Uh, keeping him throwing out the projectiles. Throwing out laser, gyro, doing rock things. Yeah, if you're a deal right here, you basically don't need to approach like that much. If you like, you're trying to whip punish, that's pretty good. But like, just keep your keep keep your ground. Don't let um, Brand take anything because you got to keep that lead. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like both characters are using um, are using like trapping skills. You know, Morton has the Mecha Koopa, has Cannonball, pretty good ranged moves. Mm -hmm. um, so you got to be careful of a lot of that. And has a really good move in um in Cart. Yeah, Cart is really good. Just gives you a lot of horizontal momentum backer. That was a beautiful back air. Yeah, and actually caught the um, drop from ledge, trying to get back on stage, and that was a little bit unfortunate. But still getting this quick combo for an uh, up throw into forward air right there. But yeah, uh, Brand is having a little bit of an issue trying to like clean up the stock. Dill's just playing really well. Yeah, he's having an issue actually like approaching uh, and like getting in, which is one of the bigger issues with Bowser Jr. Even though you have cart, which is a good burst option, it's kind of easy to like hit it to counter it. Yeah, there's actually, there hasn't been a lot of cards of, like in neutral. <laughs> Obviously, if you're playing against a person who can, you know, really abuse that kind of, um, those habits, it's probably not, it's probably advised to just not kind of go for that kind of stuff, you know? But sometimes you just kind of send it, because I know Cart does have a version where it kind of swivels around and does get the kill, but... Yeah, oh! Ooh. A three stock on yeah. game one of top 32. That is one way to start this yeah, off. Yeah, that was really solid. If you saw that confirmed, that was one of the signature, like, Rob techs where they can trap um, Rob in between another gyro. We're gonna if just... they're close enough, you can actually land a down tilt and keep like ping ponging the. Um, and then we keep ping ponging the gyro into Morton and then hit him it's back. Such a beautiful play, like getting yeah, going the hit down tilt right there. It's perfect. And just hitting him back yeah. into gyro and then using the S smash in order yeah. to kill. That was such a beautiful play by Dill. Um, she's really showing off her knowledge of Rob and just. Yeah. Great awareness by her to oh, actually. Oh, that, that was the up air you were yeah. talking about. Yeah, that was that was a little susty eye. That was eh. No one else had the eye, man. And then yeah, we get... if you're playing as Rob, you have to be really aware of how you position yourself with the gyro, especially and even as your opponent, you have to be careful of, like not to get trapped in between gyro and Rob because you're gonna get down tilt spammed into the another gyro and then shoot right back. So you have to be careful of that for your brand. We're going to be going to game two on small battlefield this time. Dill versus Brand. Yeah, it's um, it's a good pick, I think. You know, you got those platforms that you can kind of deal with, and not have Rob take up as much space um, with Gyro. And we're just kind of seeing a pretty even game. You know, both players just kind of play more defensively. Brand looking to try to get in, but having a little bit of trouble doing so. I mean, it's still early in the game, so it's we still have to early, see. Yeah, of course, yes. I do want to see um, Bran go in a little bit more and get these combo conversions. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Br Dill, um, Dill is just playing so well. Get Mecha Koopa in hand. Not going to do anything with it. Just tosses it right at him. Gyro. Ooh, narrowly missed that burn, uh, back air there, not, which would have killed probably, or at the very least uh, created, set up for a really good edge guard scenario. Uh, 
Really good by Brand there. Just Ooh, going that back air is actually going to hit instead. Ran a little bit behind right now, although trying to get this back, that jab is going to do a lot. It yep. kills deceptively early. Yeah, Bowser Bowser Jr., I mean, the the Koopa, the Koopa Ling's jabs are extremely good. Like, decently fast startup for the character that has, like, pretty low startup times. Um, slow startup times. Um, it does kill, like, pretty deceptively early, so it's just one of, it's one of the better jabs in the game. Yeah, definitely. It... It could kill you honestly around like early 100s. Um, it's it's crazy. Yeah. Are Both? we gonna see a punish here for the yeah. cart? We got down throw into up, up till. Jump. Yeah. No confirm into up air at that percent. Oh, gets oh, caught. Gonna, trying to jump out and unfortunately not gonna be able to escape that. Di is not gonna help you there. You're pretty much dead right there. Still gonna take um, the quick lead in this set, uh, three to two in terms of the stocks. Good on Dill by going recovering really low there and avoiding the uh, Koopa upbeat. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but the card. Ooh, the cannonball, like the low hanging cannonball, just barely doing it. Dill able to recover, just barely without a, um, just barely coming back with enough, uh, with enough gas. Dill looking to get on back on stage here. Ran, not gonna do anything to counter it. Oh, good gyro tossing to confirm grab, tosses him off stage, but not really able to get that much off of it. It's constantly racking up the damage right now, and if you're a brand, you have to find a way to get back into this game. Ooh, Secure tries to go the for the stun. same thing that they did last game with the down tilt and the F smash, but not quite going to work this time. Dill, 150%. Bowser Jr. has plenty of kill options to end this stock right now for uh, Dill. Yeah, back they're going to do it. I was about to say commentary is cursed, but you know. <laughs> commentary yeah, is sometimes blessing. it just happens. All right, we're gonna see the almost a little bit of an edge guard coming out right now, trying to ledge trap. Yeah, both players playing very defensively, trying to you know keep her from uh, getting back on this in the center stage. Okay, I want to see Brand do something about um, keeping Dill off the stage because that's gonna be one of the good ways. Because you know Rob having a limited amount of resources to yeah. use that up B, constantly pressuring them off stage is gonna be very key. But Dill is doing exact a great job at sharking at ledge and just constantly making Brand push back. Down tail into Gyro, nice, catching the attack in place. What are we gonna see? Ja Z drop, Gyro, gonna let Ran kinda recover back to ledge and you know, give him some sense stage, but that's alright. 180, that should this be should an be up throw, throw yep. Yeah. Uh, Koopa Langs are relatively heavy um, than the cast, but that up throw at like 180 is just gonna seal it out. Of course. Ran on ledge, pretty dangerous spot for him to be in. Especially against Rob, who's just such a scary character. Um, a lot of people recently have been saying this character is top 10. Uh, and some people think they're overrated as heck. And, you know, they're really stupid with their kill confirms. Um, and just zero, constantly zero the deaths. It's a very honestly scary character to play against. And here, Dill is just doing such a good job of keeping uh, Bran out. And just constantly applying pressure with gyro and lasers. Yeah, Dill is doing a really good job at just not letting Bran get any momentum in this entire set, not getting baited by a bunch of um, Bran setups and kill options, and just doing an excellent job overall. Uppy, not Ooh, quite gonna get just it. Just barely gets caught. Multiple down tilts, no confirm into like an F smash or anything. Back air is gonna get uh, punished with a separate back air from Bran. Recovering high just to not let the, uh, the Mecha Koopa accidentally split it on him. <laughs> okay, recovering low, not gonna quite hit him with the. Uh, this should be a down tilt. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's gonna yeah, do it. That's gonna do it. And that means Dill takes the set. Actually, just confirming. There's a spot. I was yes. about to say it might it might be that's the five, but I'm not. I wasn't sure. I was entirely sure. You know. Maybe. Um, Dill did a really good job this set of just like keeping yeah. on a constant pressure and just not letting Brand recover or do anything. Yeah. Um, the thing about um, that situation is, you know, you get hit by the down air. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a little unfortunate, but something that I learned recently is that if you hit the, um, the Koopalings with a very weak hit, after they use up B, they don't get up their, um, the cart back. Oh, wow. But if they get hit by like, let's say they get hit by like Sephiroth, like hard forward air.